Hi, I'm Carolyn Osorio, AKA Pippi Mama, and I've got my boys here, Patrick, Ty, and Griffin, and we're gonna do what we love to do, which is bake pizza and calzones at the same time. I do that because I've got this quick rise yeast, which you can make pizza in 30 minutes, and so it's wonderful. You guys ready? Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. So this is the yeast that we're pouring in for our 30 minute pizza and calzones. Next we add sugar. We add, next you add flour. Next you stir it. Now we're gonna add some really warm water, so be careful. And the salt. Yep, and next you stir it. And I like to pour in a little blend of like margarine, thyme, basil, parsley, and oregano into the dough. Then you stir it with your hand. Now we get to spread a bunch of flour on a clean surface, surface. and we want to knead it. So when you're kneading it, you want to do it consistently for four minutes, and you want to just fold, fold it in on itself, and when it starts getting sticky, then you want to add more flour. Okay, so all three of you can take a turn kneading. This is what happens when you don't put flour on it, but that's okay. You can just put flour on top of it and then it will come off your table. So while the boys are kneading, I'm going to go ahead and grate some mozzarella cheese and uh, parmesan. So the mozzarella and the parmesan are going to be the topping for our cheese pizza and then the um, inside of the calzone. So you can um, pick the cheeses that fit your personal taste. The parmesan is a little saltier. Um, and then the mozzarella is more mild. So I like to add herbs to uh, oregano specifically to the butter that I'm going to kind of lightly brush over the calzone, the top of the calzone, and then the pizza crust. And you can always go like this, flip it off. Okay, so the dough is kneaded and now we're going to put it in a circle, but you can make it as thick or as thin as, as you like. So I just and mixing the two cheeses together. Okay, Patrick's gonna add our freshly chopped oregano into our butter. Okay, one thing to remember before you start putting toppings on your pizza is to put it on your baking pan. Is that enough, Patrick and Griffin? Nope. I'd say a little bit more. <laughs> now I like to crimp the edges, keep everything all nice and inside the pizza while it bakes. So it's only been 12 minutes and I am pulling out our pizza. Pretty done. The fruits of our labors is delicious. Pizza. 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 Pizza.